Hey guys, Wolfman Ted here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about my full thoughts and opinions on Riders Republic. If you recall, I made this video here about the game um, a few weeks ago, and uh, some of my opinions have changed. So, um, yeah, let's uh, go ahead on and get into it, but before we do, a word from our sponsor, and our sponsor is me. So, if uh, you like this content, this type of content, you know, just go down, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know you enjoy it, and uh, with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so let's start by talking about the races themselves. Now that I have several more hours into this game, and uh, I've spent quite a bit of time on this video itself, and playing this game for this video, um, I can say that a lot of the races, even if they're Shack Daddy events and everything, they just get super, super repetitive, and after you've done four or five races of each race type, or each sport, you've, you've pretty much done the whole game. And, and that sounds really bad to say, but y y you have, you know, and um, the controls themselves aren't super engaging to me. Um, yeah, it's cool busting out, like, really nice courts and whatnot, but it's just like, it's just not super engaging to me. Like, I don't, I don't know how else to say it, um, especially after spending so much time with it, and I know how to land manually and grind manually. It's just not as engaging as I thought it would be, um, which, I mean, it isn't a bad thing. It's kind of cartoony, but it's not really a bad thing if you're just looking for a leisure game. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into, like, another point I have, and that's the rewards you get for playing. Now, I can't talk about the rewards and not talk about the live service part of the game, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and say it. The seasonal progression pass or whatever you want to call it it's not that great it's really not especially this past seasons it, it just wasn't good the cosmetics weren't that cool uh you get gear that's lower level than what you already have and it, it's honestly it, it just kind of sucks you know because you don't want to bust out a bike that's not or a bmx bike i say you're doing bmx events you don't want to bust out a bmx bike from the past just because it looks somewhat cool when you have a bike that looks just as cool that you know is a higher level that can rotate faster and stuff like that but I, I don't know man it's, it's just the seasonal pass is just not that good even the cosmetic rewards for your for your character for your rider aren't really that cool either I think this one was a Himalayan suit and it's just a big yellow suit dude I mean, that's cool and all, but it's just, they're not very engaging rewards, you know, if if they want people to buy it, they're going to have to have rewards that people actually want, if that makes any sense, um, and I just didn't find myself wanting these rewards, and even without having the live service feature, if it didn't have that, the rewards would still be pretty lackluster, I mean, you don't get anything for winning races, you just get new gear and money, you know, that's all you get, is new gear and money. And once you've gotten high level gear, it's just not, it's no point in playing it anymore for, for gear, because you already have the gear that you want, you're probably not going to change it because you get used to how it rotates and whatnot, and you're just not, you're probably not going to change your gear. So. Why don't they give you more rewards for playing races? And, um, yeah, that's something that I've been really scratching my head about. If anybody has any answers for that, you know, just go ahead and put it down in the comments. Or if I'm just dead wrong, you know, just tell me in the comments. I'm open to criticism. And speaking of rewards and feeling like you deserve some and you just don't get any, the mass races are a very good example of that. The mass races don't give you anything but stars, and you might get some new gear for leveling up a sport in the mass race, and uh, yeah, that's all you get. That's like when you do a good deed in class, right? Like, like say you're in pre-K and you do something nice, you give somebody a piece of candy and you get a gold star. That's basically all this is. You just get gold stars, and I mean, hey, you know what? Everybody wants a gold star every once in a while, but... 
I mean, it's just like, does nothing else there. And it's like, you've basically fought against 64 other people just to get gold stars, bro. Like, no. And I have won a mass race, and you still don't get any rewards. So, if people pop in the comments and are like, oh, well, you get them if you win. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Don't get anything. And it sucks. It's like, you would expect something for winning a mass race. Maybe I'm just harping too much on the rewards thing. But I don't really think I am because I feel like that's a big part of gaming. I mean, if you look at games like... I know this is nowhere near the same kind of game. But if you look at Call of Duty, you get a reward for every challenge you do for a weapon. And each weapon has four challenges. And then each class of weapons has several different challenges. And then you get rewards for each challenge you complete. Which I think is something really cool. You know, I mean, that's been in gaming forever. And Call of Duty just kept it. But this game just doesn't have rewards like that. And it kind of like throws me for a loop, you know. But it is what it is, you know. You can still have fun in the game. I'm not saying that. And my last negative point that I'm going to make about the game before I say something positive. Is that the item shop is just as bad as the, the the seasonal pass, just as bad as the reward system, it's just as bad. There's, you might get some decent stuff in the shop, but again with the seasonal pass, if there's nothing in there that you like, you're not going to buy anything. And I haven't seen anything in the item shop in a whole month that I wanted besides one outfit, and that's what I'm using right now. And that's it. That's all I've seen that I've wanted in the item shop. But, I mean, that's, you know, some people might like the cosmetics that I don't like, and that's that's perfectly okay. But, overall, I would just say that the item shop itself is just doesn't have enough items to keep people coming back to them. Uh, and looking in the shop, you know, because I don't even look in the shop anymore. I've stopped looking for stuff that I want because I know it's not going to pop up. But, that's my last negative thought on the game. Let's move on to something a little positive. And that is that the game is really fun to play with friends. You don't even need to have a lot. You can just have two or three friends hop on and you can have an absolute blast with them doing mass races together or uh, just racing against each other, trying to do Shag Daddy events. You can have a lot of fun with your friends just by doing that, you know. And if you're looking for that kind of game, then this game is can be that for you, you know. But does that make this game amazing? No, because there's so many negative points that that I, I do have about this game that, that I feel are justified in me having. But to sum this video up, if you're looking for something where you can just get on and have fun with a few friends, then this is that game. You know, you can get up here and have a lot of fun with a few friends. Uh, but if you're looking for something that's challenging or you want something that's uh, rewarding to play, or you want something that's got a lot of variety in the races, then I really don't think this is the game for you. But overall, I would say that the game is decent. I mean, the developers clearly put a lot of love and attention into the world itself and the the races, even though some of them are the same, the Shack Daddy events definitely have a lot of care put into them, and they are, for the most part, somewhat unique from the normal races. It's just, you know, to each their own, I guess, and they're just not my favorites. But, uh, yeah, guys, with all that being said, if you enjoy this video, again, please leave a like, subscribe, and, uh, you know, comment down below what you think about this game or about this video and uh, I'll be sure to read and reply to every single one of them and uh, yeah guys with all that being said stay fluffy Mwah.